Listen up, Rangers! Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name is Steve, and today we are going over my toy collection. As a big thank you to you guys for checking out our super important views for 1,000 subscribers, and even for the 104 that's over here, over on the Geek Chest. So I wanted to give you guys this as a little bit of appreciation for what you guys have been doing for us and subscribing. Love each and every one of you. Rangers are awesome. So what I'm going to do in this video is showcase to you guys my office and also my game room. Uh, you won't be able to see the stuff that's in the bedroom because that's not really ready for you guys to actually check out the stuff. But that's mainly just the alien figures and I even have one just kind of chilling over here right now. But you guys will get to see the pretty much all of my Godzilla stuff that I have out on display and also pretty much everything in the game room as well. Which is a lot of Transformers stuff like that. But you guys will get to see that in a second. And also as a big thank you to you guys. If you guys see anything in this video that you guys would like me to try to do a review over on Super Important Views. Can't officially guarantee anything but I will try my darndest to get some videos out for you guys. And yeah we previously did this on Super Important Views when I hit 100 subscribers but... Because we were not that big at the time, and I can't really say we're really all that big either. Even though it's still crazy that I got a thousand. Crazy. But now that we actually have a little bit more of a subscriber base, can hopefully get a little bit more people chiming in the comments for some figures, which I think would be awesome to do. So without further ado, for the collection. All right, so initially walking in your room, you'll see right here hiding behind my door is a poster I got from Walmart for Godzilla 2014, which has a crap ton of glare on it. And then primarily we're gonna start with the back wall right here and my little pug's just kind of walking around the room here. But for the top shelf here, we got some Japanese vinyl figures here with the larger scale Gamera from Gamera Guardian Universe. We got Legion, the movie Gamera from Gamera 3, which you had to go to the theater to see that. Same with the Godzilla right over here with Orga, Iris, the giant scale NECA Pacific Rim figures, the 18 inch versions that have the awesome light up features. Yeah. And also my little pride and joy here, the 1962 Godzilla from King Kong vs. Godzilla. Love that thing. Moving down to the next shelf here, we got a few more X-Pluses and some large scale Bandai figures with the Godzilla from X Mecha Godzilla. Or I guess some people saying Final Wars, but pretty sure it's Mecha Godzilla. Got Guy Gang here from Final Wars, some of the explosives from 1955, random little Angerous from Final Wars, the Burning Godzilla that I recently reviewed in Super Important Reviews, also a DX Godzilla from Final Wars, which actually has some sound effects and stuff, which is really awesome, and a little Rodan from Final Wars as well. And then down here, we have a crap ton of my just random Godzilla figures in my collection, with a lot of them being Japanese, American Bandai's, even some of the Imperial ones right there, and a little baby Godzilla over in the corner. And some more of the American Van Dyke vinyls here, and even the board game. And then on the back wall here, we just got uh, quite a few Godzilla posters here with another version of the 2014 poster, Godzilla vs. Biolante, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, which uh, on a funny note, I actually have another poster of that right here. Well, this is the one that actually got signed by Robert Scottfield, which you guys can see the autograph right there. It's just I haven't debated on which one to put up because, come to find out, that is actually the better poster in my collection. And I kind of grabbed the wrong one to go get autographed. That's kind of my bad. But I also got some of the Pacific Rim Movie Theater posters and also another Godzilla one over in the back for 2014. And also got some of my artist prints from G-Fez hanging up on the wall here, which all of them are autographed by the artist, which is awesome. Also some of the stuffed animal Godzillas I got. Some WCW Bastion Brawlers and Super Mega Force backpacks. And starting at the top here, we got some NECA action figures with the NES Godzilla, the 2014 24-inch long, the Land Otachi. Also got the Ultraman Towards the Future Bogan up there. Now moving down, we have the Ultra Act Ultraman Gridman Tiga and the OG chilling in the back there. Also moving down, we got the Revolt Tech Gamera figures from 1967 and some random little uh, space gauss in the back. Also have the SH Monsters Gamera with the Mothra and Larva. And then moving down, we also have the Betra and the Betra Larva to go with it. Mecha Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla, the Heisei one. Fire Rodan, also with a bunch of little tanks right there. Now moving down, we got my Burning Godzilla I got from G-Fest. Also have Godzilla Jr., the Destroy Evolution set, and the big bad boy himself right there. And then moving down, which uh, I don't know, funny note I want to point out. When I was trying to do this video, I was actually setting up the display a little bit better because some of these guys were out for reviews and whatnot. And this shelf actually dropped on that one. Thankfully, none of the figures got damaged. Just had to reattach a couple of heads, but nothing actually got broke, thankfully. Although my autograph comic actually got torn, which is a bit of a bummer. But the figures at least survived, so something to be a little bit happy about. Well, we got the uh, Mecha King Ghidorah there with the 
original Heisei Godzilla from SH Monster Arts. Also got King Ghidorah and Biolante, which is definitely still my favorite SH Monster Arts figure. And then on the bottom shelf here, we have Space Godzilla, Little Godzilla, the two 2014 Godzillas, the Spitfire and the normal one. San Diego Comic Con Explosion Godzilla and the 2064. And also on the back there, I got the Kiryu from Godzilla X Mega Godzilla, which uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it's actually autographed by the director from that actually did the movie. Down there, we have a ton of the Yegas down there, which you can't really see them very well because my couch kind of blocks it a bit, which kind of sucks. But they're pretty much all just kind of chilling down there, even with the little mini mates if my camera would stop on focusing. And then my Monster Island vinyls chilling at the bottom. And actually a board game by Mattel. And then moving on, here's where I pretty much do all my editing for my videos here, where we have a crap ton of like little Godzilla figures here with some of the NECA ones. And on the bottom here, I got a ton of random little Godzilla figures I've collected over the years from a wide range of sets. And I keep them there just so I don't actually lose them. Also got the NECA Deluxe Class Pacific Rim Kaijus there. All look very awesome. Even with the giant flying Otachi with a little Mothra just kind of chilling on him. Got a little Godzilla handheld game from way back when. And my Antiverse Gypsy Danger back there. Even got a little Godzilla nesting doll here. Also the Aqua Mothra from Rebirth of Mothra 2. And a little Chibi Bandai set. Also got the Rubber Baby Otachi. And Mr. Failhead right there. Also, I forget exactly what you are, but I know you're a glow-in-the-dark King Ghidorah. I want to say you are... Yeah, that, that's actually exactly what you are. <laughs> Still probably should remove that tag, which I just haven't really got around to. Also got a King Ghidorah bobblehead right there. A little statue I actually won from G-Fest, the first one I went to back in 98. But it used to be a clock until my cousin actually knocked it off the shelf and knocked the clock out of it. So, me and actually get a little thing to replace it, but I just keep it around for memories. On the top of the computer, I got a crap ton of my NECA Godzilla figures and a giant Japanese vinyl Mothra larva with a 54 just kind of riding for good measures. And then behind the computer, not really in shame, but just having a much of a better place to put them. Just some of my various Mecha Godzilla figures I have with the Vinyl Bank, the American Large Scale Kiryu, the smaller Bandai Creations Mecha Godzilla from 74, and I forget exactly what you are, but you're adorable. And then back here too, got a few more posters with uh, the GMK Godzilla poster and some more prints I got from G-Fest. And then here's my little review station where I have some stuff out for one of the videos I'm going to be doing for Super Unport Reviews. A little bit of a spoiler for you guys. And then also over here, got a ton of my American Godzilla figures with a lot of my 2000s and the 98 Godzillas here as well, which there's a ton to go over here, so I'm just going to kind of skim over a bit. But pretty much a lot of the 98 figures here are some of the babies. My personal favorite, the large Treadmaster Godzilla. And this is actually the one that actually you could push the levers and stuff. He actually would move around and stuff and make noises. But he sadly missed his little battery compartment. But for the most part, it still works. Even got a little Godzilla candy holder. The Taco Bell Godzilla cup holder from the whole, I need to pick a box. And some more of my SH Monster boxes kind of chilling in the back. And my Treadmaster Godzillas, which, funny little story. I actually used to have almost the entire set. This is pretty much all I'm left with as of right now because uh, when I initially moved out of my parents' house, my aunt decided to stay over, which I don't talk to my aunt anymore, mainly because my figures actually, the Tremaster ones I actually left at my mom's, actually went missing, and then she shortly left after that, so kind of assuming what happened there, but just a bit of a bummer. But this is mainly what's left of that collection, with uh, the large Gigan, Becca Godzilla, and Godzilla sitting in the back. So I actually have a moth in the box, which one of the guys I actually work with actually uh, gave that to me, which is really awesome. And then some more of the Godzillas. Got the harder to find Biolante just kind of chilling in the back. One of the Godzilla heads that you can actually open up and you can actually play with stuff inside of it. It's pretty cool. Kind of like a Polly Pocket. And then some of the little rubber guys that you can actually bend around and play with. And then down here, just some of my random stuff I haven't put away from reviews and the Godzilla 64 mask. Also, my Mecha Godzilla that I got from G-Fest that somebody actually made out of paper mache Which I haven't really had a good place to really store this guy because he's stupid huge and doesn't really stand very well by himself. So, just having him lean up against my Christmas ornaments that I have out for doing the reviews. Uh, he just kind of works there for right now, so it's pretty much where he's been chilling on the floor. But overall, it's really awesome. Really love the details and the amount of work that whoever put into this, which I wish I knew who did it. Because I'd love to thank him for this thing. 
is just amazing. And now that's pretty much it for this room. Moving on to the game room. All right, so now that we're in the game room, we're gonna start with the back little wall here, which behind my door I have a Mobile Suit Gundam, the 8th MS Team uh, little wall score right there. Also got a Pacific Rim movie poster, a painting my wife actually did because if you guys didn't know, I actually really love Transformers 2 and she did this based off the uh, War for Cybertron, actually, actually Fall of Cybertron, Just need to get my Transformer games right, where they had a little uh, picture that they did and she kind of did her own little interpretation of it which turned out really awesome. Also got the Beast Wars comic poster right there, I actually got it from my comic book shop right here before it closed down. And starting up here is mainly just a crap ton of random toys. Because right up here we have most of my Star Wars stuff with like the Mr. Potato Bed Boba Fett. We have some of the pop figures. A giant ass Chitara with a, another Boba Fett right there. The uh, reissue of the classic Turtle Van from the first run. And yeah, some of my Black Series Stormtroopers and Boba Fetts and some of the new Elite action figures. And a High School of the Dead poster is kind of chilling in the back, kind of hiding right now because. I uh, would love to get it out, but my little brothers actually can't see what's on that poster, so it's usually hidden right now. And uh, starting here, we have some Transformers that have been sitting out, with a lot of these being from the Generations line, some of the newer ones being like from the Combiner Wars, like the Optimus Prime there, and then from older sets progressing down. And then down here, we have some of the Age of Extinction Dinobots, which they're mixed in with some of the Beast Machine figures here, like we have the Dragon Megatron here. Also have Optimus Prime that actually comes with like a little hoverboard thing, which is pretty cool. The uh, Dino Bot right there. And then my Shelf of Shame. And then moving up to the top here, we have all my Power Ranger boxes and some stuff that's actually still in the box, like the Karate Action Red Ranger. Then we got Saba back there. There's the dr uh, Behind here, actually, is the Dragon Flute, which is still in the box, too. Because I actually really love Power Rangers as well. Pretty much anything having to do with giant monsters, I generally have a pretty big fixation towards. But moving down here and opening up this case. And then starting here, we have some of my anime figures with, in the back, we have the Roma Damashi G Gundam figures. Also the Shiny Gundam, which I still actually have to review. Uh, some Dragon Ball Z figures, some Etchi's Figure Arts line. The SAS Sunichi and Migi checking out Ryuko's Tush. I also have my Icarus figure I got recently. And then the Figma Giver and, of course, the Figma Kill a Kill figures. Then moving over here, we have some of the Playmates Club movie collection Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures. I love these things personally. These were like some of my favorite toys in my collection. Plus we have some of the movie figure here as well. Also the Pop April O'Neil because I have a soft spot for redheads. And then moving down here, one of my favorite video game characters of all time, Isaac Clarke, because I love Dead Space. It's pretty much one of the only video game figures I've actually really kept pretty much all my stuff for my collection. With the NECA ones right here with Isaac from 1 and 2. I have a Necromorph here that's kind of dismembered, but I think he just looks kind of cool just chilling on here. Uh, the Square Enix Isaac from Dead Space 3 still in the box. And also, if you'll notice this stuff here, this was actually the collector's edition you had to order from the developers, which they only put out a thousand of these, and I was actually lucky enough to get one of them, which is awesome. Comes with a ton of extra stuff that some of you guys may not know some of the information about. But we also have the SH Figure Arts Big Bad Beetleborgs right here, or B-Fighter, whichever you guys prefer. And then starting here, we have a lot of my Power Ranger stuff, with pretty much all these being the Legacy Zords. And then we also have some random little figures right here from the Legacy line with uh, the Red Ranger here from the movie. Same with the White Ranger. And then we also have, I forget exactly which you're from, but you're an awesome Dino Megazord. And then down here is a crap ton more of my Power Ranger stuff with some more of the Legacy stuff with like the Morphers and also the White Tigers are. But then also on the back here, I have the original Dino Megazord. I also got Tour of the Shuttle Zord, the White Tiger Zord with all the Thunder Zord parts. And then... Actually, one of the only SH figures figure I own for the Power Rangers is actually the Pink Ranger because I like the Pink Ranger. She's awesome next to Tommy. Uh, some of the random bad guys here, which I forget your name, but I know you're Pudgy Pig. Some of the helmets here. And then this figure actually got signed by the actor that played the Red Gal Ranger, which was Noburu, who was also in Godzilla Tokyo SOS. And then just to show you guys some more figures, which is the other SH Figure Arts figure that I have, the Red Samurai Ranger. And then starting on top here, the only Godzilla still is actually over on this side of the collection, the Large Jack Specific, a Bumblebee helmet I actually got from her yard sale, which is actually pretty sweet, plus with a Duke Nukem hat just kind of chilling on the top of it. And then moving down here, we get all my more Pride and Joy Transformers, which I'll open up the little doors for you guys so you can see them a little better. This is a mix of a lot of Generations and also Masterpiece figures, which you got like 
Generation Jetfire, RC, Windblade, and Chromia, but then you also have like Masterpiece Soundwave, Grimlock, Optimus Prime, Prowl, Wheeljack, and then what I consider Masterpiece, because I love this guy, the uh, Springer from the Generations line. And then moving down here, we have some G1s mixed in with some Masterpiece and Generations, which I just recently got a hold of the Masterpiece Starscream that Toys R Us put out. And then there's also like Generations Megatron with the OG Megatron, original Soundwave with some Generations Insecticons, and also the original Insecticon is chilling here in the back with a Trypticon with all of his parts. A random bootleg Brodicus in the back because I thought he was pretty cool for $10. Uh, some of the animated characters with Soundwave and a Black Arachnid. And then moving down to here, we also get a bunch of my G1 Transformers, which I have all of the Dinobots, original Optimus Prime, Jetfire chilling in the back here with Bumblebee, Clip Jumper, Metroplex, Wheeljack, and my favorite Jazz, which I'm still waiting for that stupid Masterpiece uh, third-party Jazz to come out because I want that thing so bad. And then down here, which is kind of dark, but these are a lot more of my combiner G1 Transformers with uh, Piranicon, we have Brodicus, Power Master Optimus Prime, and Omega Supreme. And we also got like Hot Rod, Sergeant Cup, uh, Fangry, I'm pretty sure that's your name, and Ultra Magnus still in the box. And yes, my Skylinks actually works, and I wouldn't actually mind showing you guys actually because he kind of walks on the ground by himself. It's pretty cool. And then I just got some random Game Informer posters kind of sitting here on the back. The random Master Chief just kind of hanging on the wall right now because just had a little peg sitting there. And then up here we have some more classic collection Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures that I haven't actually opened out of the package, which I still really love these guys as well. And then in front of my TV we got some random little robots here with the NECA Portal figures, Atlas B-Body. We got a little claptrap there. The robot from Lost in Space, the movie, which I actually really didn't mind the movie. I personally kind of enjoyed it and I still have that guy chilling around. Some random Halo figures here with Duke Nukem and the awesome little Sharknado Pop. Now we got the large Jack specific Boba Fett here. We got the Creo's Grimlock. I also have this little stuffed Boba Fett here, but he's actually uh, usually riding my Arachnid that's chilling right there. But since I recently did a review of that guy as well and haven't put it out yet, he's kind of just chilling by himself. And up here are just some other random figures I've gotten from people with. Uh, I don't actually know where most of these are from, except I know that's Witchblade, the new Thundercats, and uh, Sea Viper from Street Fighter 4, but the two anime figures, I'm not quite 100% where they're from. And some of my Evangelion figures. And going over here, we get to the start of my Transformers Prime collection, which is actually uh, my other favorite series next to the original G1 Transformers, which I pretty much have the major majority of the characters here. Oh, just kind of chilling on the top shelf here, which I personally, again, really love this show. You even got the giant Predaking in the back, which for some odd reason was really, really cheap to pick up, and I just love that figure. Also, some first edition figures here with Optimus Prime. Also, got both the Cliff Jumpers here, even the zombie Cliff Jumper in the back. Also, got Silas, which you can only get from Takara, and still in the box. Same with Skyquake, who is actually pretty hard to get a hold of as well. On the bottom here, a lot more of the Beast Hunter Tr Transformers Prime figures mixed in with some of the normal Transformer Prime figures. Just like the Ultra Mag just kind of chill on the back and also different versions of Predator King still in the box. And Darksteel, who sadly is missing a head inside of the packaging. I know it's there, but they just kind of transform into weird inside the box. And up here, we have some more of the Generation figures that I still haven't actually opened out of the package. Which we also have some more of them down here, which a lot of these guys are actually from the video games, like War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron here. Or we have Blaster right here with his random accessories. And then this one is Sound Blaster, yep, who has his accessories. And then I also have Soundwave here. And the actual really hard to find, which uh, right over here, the normal Deluxe Class Soundwave, which is actually smaller and a lot stupider to find. We also have a giant Devastator here over in the corner here. And just to show you guys the rest of the Fall of Cybertron characters, which, I, even though I love Jazz, this figure is actually kind of poopy. But then again, Megatron over here is super awesome. Same with Shockwave. I have the G2 version of Brodicus from the game. And Grimlock. Now in the back here, we also have this really large Bumblebee from Revenge of the Fallen, which I actually got on clearance for Toys R Us. Because for some odd reason, I went there one day, and this is like... The third movie has already pretty much come out and passed, and they put this guy because I guess they actually found him in the back, and I got him for 
about the same price as a normal Voyager. And then for the last area right here, we have the Titan class Metroplex. We have Optimus Prime, the Beast Hunter version, but this is the large scale Dragon Hunter figure with the giant halo in the back. We got also Mr. Potato Head, Optimus Prime, and Bumblebee just chilling in the back here. And also some tiny little Legends class figures with like Optimus Prime and Starscream here. And opening up the case, we have my shelf of random Bumblebees, which range from the video games to the movies, Transformers Prime, and some other random little figures from sets here and there. And then here we got my shelf of Optimus Primes, most of them being from the movies, and then my random little Prime back here, which is actually kind of poopy, but most of the rest of these are good, which like we have here the, the uh, Age of Extinction Optimus, which is probably the best thing for that movie. We also have the large Jetfire Optimus Prime from Dark of the Moon, some of the movie video game figures. Also, this one's from, I want to say the first movie. Not 100%, but I think that's the first movie one. And we also have Nemesis Prime over here in the corner. Next shelf, we have the Beast Wars Transformers with uh, some of them being the original ones, like with the Megatron here in the back and Dinobots, and some of the newer ones with like Wasp Inator, Rat Trap, and Rhinox. And then we also have the Galvatron here in the back. And then some of the robots in disguise Transformers, just because, eh, they kind of deserve their own little shelf too. And then on the bottom here, just some more movie Transformers with the large Butterfly, Optimus Prime, Hound, Starscream, and Shockwave in lockdown. Also got my little Godzilla street sign. And then also in here, we have my closet of random stuff that I haven't actually organized as of yet. It's kind of Messy in there, it has a lot of my DVDs and Godzilla stuff and random mangas. Just like down here as well, I have a lot of actual comic books in here as well. Ranging from Aliens, Transformers, Godzilla comics. They're all just kind of hiding down there because I don't really have a good place to really display them as of right now. And that's pretty much my collection as of right now, which uh, my last video I put out about a year ago, so you can kind of see the difference in how things have shaped up since then. And again, if you guys see any figures you actually would like me to review in Super Import Reviews, just make sure to chime in the comment section below so that I actually know which ones you guys like to see. I think it'd be pretty sweet to actually put out some more retro reviews on Super Import Reviews. And I think it'd just be cooler if you guys actually selected the retro reviews that I would be doing. But again, thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. Appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are awesome, super nice in the comment section, very supportive of the channel. Make sure to help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button. Subscribe and become a ranger today if you guys already aren't. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.